that color right there with that blue eye shadow that's how this box came in with all these white ones and all these yellow ones and stuff like that i got busy and started looking for more and then all of a sudden the years just passed by and i found myself with boxes and boxes full of big o's crazy shads you know red fins i got boxes of red fins Man, there's boxes over here still <laughs> full but the next thing you know you're in a 22 foot penske head knees with uh eight thousand pounds of tackle been yeah there. <laughs> been there <laughs> retro bassin kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin. As you guys know, we're on a little bit of a journey east, heading toward Northeast Florida to meet up with the rest of the family. But I had a few things on my Texas bucket list before I left. And a big, big, big one for me was to see Daniel over at D's Tackle Box just outside of Longview, Texas. So <laughs> hang in there, guys. We're gonna be touring this most epic of man caves. <laughs> and checking out some truly unique pieces of old school gold. Stick around. All right, so I do see a pretty insane head and collection here. This is what <laughs> I like, man. This right here is the cobalt blue river run. You won't find another one like that. Um, there's a couple of guys that have some, but I've had so many people trying to get that one out of my collection. Well, where I'm going later that. today, Michael Bacon's got some cobalt blue yeah. torpedoes. Oh, yeah. The torpedoes are awesome, but ask him if he has I'll one of the... Ask him about the runt. The runt, man. If he does... I've I would, never seen one. I've not seen that I would love one. to put another one in there. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is one of the questions that I always get. The boxes that show the eye on there. If you look at the books, and I have tons of books, that's what I do. When I'm sitting here, I'm reading books like crazy. All of those books have specific brands. When I got these boxes, they had lures in here that, you know, you do see some of them. Like that one right there is the same exact one in um, red belly black. But these boxes were assigned as research boxes. That's a goldfish Ooh. right there. That's a high dollar lure. But I think a lot of times, ahead and put these together, and tried the colors in different areas of the nation, you know, kind of like, you know, the guys that are fishing here or there, or whatever specific lakes. So they would send these out. And oh, that frog's nice. That's, I mean, that's a beautiful. I love anything that has to do with frogs. My boy has a bunch of them that in that a, box. I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a bullfrog river run, actually. There's another one right not, here. Not like, in person, anyway. With the gold eyes around it and gold blush. So these are older, the ones with the gold eyes. That's why I have them displayed up front like that. But all these boxes that came like this in this research, you could find whatever color in there. That's an island stripey. So, so what was the indicator on the box then? It was just a, a um, let's just say they put it on there and said, hey, try this color out. So it's, uh, do they all have that same exact number? No, this is for the models. Like this one is for the Midget River. So Run. what do the different numbers mean on that box? Just going through it. So on the 9010. Yes. It's 9010i. That's gonna be your Midget. Okay. And then as you go through them, you'll see, let me see, 9010i, that'd be another midget. Yeah. And then the 9110 is going to be your sinker, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, the riverfront sinker. And so that's what changes on them. You'll find tons of these boxes because they did put out a bunch of these for people to try out different colors. And basically that's all it has to do with the colors in them. There's, there's a, uh, here's another one. Like this is a different one here. This is not a midget or a sinker. This would be your uh, 9020, which that model responds to uh, the midget digit, and it's a bullfrog again. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I put labels in there and everything for, you know, just in case one day we're not here, we, we have somebody else go so through So all here. these for sale, or is this your private yeah, stash? Yeah, no. <laughs> these, this is my personal private stash of river runs, and a lot of people already know what I'm doing with, with this, 
and I have some more somewhere somewhere or another box up there but I'm what I'm trying to do is get a lot of these put together so that when I do this display that I'm working on I have it outside sitting it's a double pane display I want those boxes all to show up like this and cover the whole thing and a lot of them have these other ones that are not the research and all that stuff they have paperwork inside of it they have um, catalogs inside of them some of them came with um, the right catalogs see the red catalog Ooh. on there that's a this is a, a very tough one look there's a two-piece yep white head black gold eyes I mean that's pretty tough right there I've sold maybe two or three of these to people that needed something in their collection that I had that I was um, you know just keeping boxed up and I only sold them because I wanted to hook them up with something and they hooked me up with something so I sold uh, an Allen Stripey like the one that I showed you with the catalog and the box and everything and I don't like to put numbers out there because people always ask me like how much did you sell it for but we got about uh, $500 for that one box with the lure the guy who needed it for his collection and so we traded out some stuff and we ended up you know minimizing the amount of money that we put in each other's hands that way okay this one here that's about i'd say um the big head i would not let it go for less than eight to a thousand <laughs> it's really tough to find that color and it's really tough to find an introductory box like that it hasn't even been hung on on the on the uh you know how they now, was there one the size of this big big head um yeah there's not a smaller size only the i think it's five eighths it's kind of like the cordell big o and it says the new yeah big head. You look it's at that introductory box so you've got Very a good little tough. stash of those that's a cool bait that's one i actually have not thrown have I, you not fished that oh I've man not fished you it. gotta fish how one does of those. it fish compared to the big o well it's not identical but it has a tighter wobble the big o i think has a little bit of a of a broader lip and shorter so i, I feel like it it has a uh, a more varied wobble but these kind of it's a tighter wiggle yes that's what it is a wiggle so, so let's take this one down to the pond and yeah let's throw it <laughs> no <laughs> low water not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> see this is your head and box right here and it's all busted up because i've dropped this so many times <laughs> there's some tough stuff in here there's tons of stuff inside there and it goes down for another Another row. Right, first off, I want to I want to see that <laughs> spotted ape heading torpedo. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where he's is hiding. it? Oh, he's back here. This is a Japanese version. Yes, it is. Oh, that is a cool one. Right that there, is a man. honey of a fish. I uh, mean, that's a that's a good looking bait. Throw that for bluefish. Be perfect. Check this one out. <laughs> this one here. Okay. Is a an original swayback you'll see the creek right there at the neck that's the original yes. one that's not the ones that they see they made they made some that said um that say sway back yeah that so if it says it back. it's not really it no if they say sway back they're uh, different they're they were made later you know as a kind of like a wow let's remember the old ones or whatever but those are the original ones and i got a couple more like that like this one here that's an original that's sway back it has the same the seam oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? That's your original one right there. Ooh. Compared to the newer stuff. The newer stuff doesn't have that same bend. Straight At all. straight body. At all. And this one has it. It almost lo looks like a mistake. It's so well, it, it's that's, so abrupt. I think that's what it was. It was the way it was uh, molded there, that seam, that I guess within time it just kinda shrunk and made the heads kind of point up. I had another one in here and it's wow. hard to, to notice them. But look, there it is. I see another one here. This one's a tougher one. It has the bend right behind the dot. Oh, yes. So that's the Charlie Campbell special there. Mm, I have a nice, Ooh. nice collection of Charlie Campbell stuff. I held on to Charlie Campbell's stuff. Everything that was Charlie Campbell. I had a whole collection of all the Zara spooks that were originally that color, that the ones that he signed. And from there, that's when I learned how to tell which ones are the ones that are original swaybacks and which ones are not swaybacks now what did charlie campbell do to get his signature on it did he obviously he fished it did he help design yeah. the bait as well he uh the, he put some input in their hands as far as to the way it swam the way it uh, reacted the way that it walked the dog and he actually liked his uh zara spooks to have the um the nose tie 
you know, instead of tied at the chin, he wanted them done like like these older ones. See, these are the older ones that had it on the um, on the chin like that. See. So he preferred this. He preferred that, but with wow. the with the neck bent up like that. So there was one here that I had that came to me in that same fashion, where it had the uh, nose. It was uh, doctored up. It had the the hole closed up at the chin, and it had the the thing moved to the top. That's how he liked the fishing. There's a, a piece in a book somewhere that talks about how he changed it up and then gave them feedback. This one here is a drop Sarah spook. Yes. And you don't see these a lot. No, but I have seen them though. Yeah. So it's got a through line and then pull that string. So you get to see <laughs> when the fish hits it, bam. And you put a stopper and up there if you want. If yes. not, you know, once it hits to the other end or whatever, it'll it'll pull the rod there but of course you're getting on this hook then you got yeah, problems <laughs> yeah and usually that's what it's for i'm assuming it's or could you, know, you drop it in theory just and let know. it just kind of hang yeah. down yeah you could but that's tough man i like yeah, that that's a good one right there you don't get to see a lot of these and it, and with this so this right here inspires this right here that's what i love about what i do i get to find all kinds of crazy stuff this is a drop pop r same thing same thing. Ooh, this one, uh, the guy that I work with, uh, Pratco, was telling me about this design, and they thought it was gonna be like, you know, catch on really cool, but I think it, uh, um, it tangled on some people, and they, you know how people are. This one I, is. I, I could see that one tangle a little bit more. It's a, it's a tighter bait. Those hooks are closer together. You yeah. See that. Yeah, because once once you chunk it, a lot of times they end up like this. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So. But when you get to doing all this stuff the way I do, you find stuff like that. This is another drop R. That's a very tough color. Ooh, and I that have was some so guys. tough. I almost didn't think that was actually a real pop R. Man, this is a tough drop R. You can see the hole right there where the line feeds through, and you're supposed to put the hook over here. So is that just like a, a flow perch of some sort, huh? Uh, I think it's like the color. It's a KCH, I believe, is the code for this one. Wow. And uh, that's also when I guess when Pratco made the head and line, they picked up that color for a lot of uh, like they intermixed with Rebel. These are Pratco era. There's a couple of other ones in here that, you know, shared the same colors as the head and stuff. But the reason I wanted to get to these was because of these down here. Like this, when I bought this box full, came with um, with these here. And I know that a lot of people are thinking, oh, well, those aren't that old. They're probably, what, um, 80s, I think? I think they were 80, 84, 85, something Ooh. like that. But this, this whole pile. So that's pile, not a, is that a slope nose or is that something? No, this yeah, is the 210. And these were the introductory boxes. Look, new heading, weedless 210. Oh, and it's got the double hooks like the uh, Japanese lures. Yep. Look at that. And these were actually made here. They were, These were not the ones that they made into. So what's the name of this lure? The 210. Okay. It's the model number name, 210 surface. Uh, Ooh. That's what it's called, 210. So surface. that probably fishes a little bit like a slope nose, I bet. Yeah. yeah I mean, actually, it's got the same collar. They're really cool to fish. I've caught some amazing big bass over here with those suckers. But that's a big lure too. I like that. Yep. The profile on those suckers is really cool. Nice. Oh man. Um, have you ever uh, fished the G-Flick ones? The G-Flick. Where's that one at? Like these types? Yeah. Those are cool. See, these all came like this in their boxes when I got these. Yep. The, all the tags were on here. I, lo I love it when they had the, the G-Flick tag on them. Intro boxes. You see how they're not popped open and hung? Yes. So all of these, well, I just got lucky with this. What's stuff, the uh, race racing uh, checkerboard one? What's that? Oh, that's the indie one. This is a tough one. This one came from uh, Japan. They gave me. I think that might be the wrong box, but Doesn't the lure matter. itself. <laughs> it's yeah, cold. the lure itself. Um, one of the guys on our Instagram, when we were looking at these over here, he saw that I didn't have that, and he shows me one, and he says, "Hey, you're missing one." And I was like, "Man, I would love to have that." Next thing I know, I get one in the mail. <laughs> he says, Ooh. thank you so much. These were everything you do. And he gifted me that one. So That's a keeper. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I like about doing deals with uh, people in Japan that we deal with on a regular basis is that uh, part of our, you know, part of our friendship is when they give you something like that, you don't just turn around and, and make money off of it. 
So that's why I do what I do. I love this stuff, man. Some of these things have come to us from across, from Osaka, from Tokyo, from different places in Japan. And we never sell those. I mean, that's just, it's just part of my, my hobby and what I do, man. There's things that we'll sell and there's things that we keep for ourselves. And, and as you can tell, <laughs> I, I pile up stuff, man. And, and that's, that's why I like doing this, what we do, man. You just gotta keep the, uh, the sell column bigger than the buy column. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do. This piece actually came to me just not too long ago. I'm gonna show you something here. My buddy uh, Dan sent this to me. Look what it says on there. It says Frogman prototype. So nice. he worked with Rebel, and he said that that was a uh, prototype that he introduced to the company. It didn't get made, but if you see the signature on the legs, it has the Bill Dan uh, sign series signature. Frogman. It does have. <laughs> a Bill Dance signature. You will not find that one ever, ever anywhere. Wow. So ten dollars shit from these tackle yeah, box. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that's something that, like, I've that got to meet so cool. many people that do this stuff, and I love that he gave that to it's me. A Frogman prototype that's got Bill Dance's signature series, man. Wow, that's, and that's got a that's kind of a got an interesting feel to it too. Well, it's supposed to be some type of material that he said. Um, it's it was better than the regular plastics that they were making it looks different it feels different maybe the cost was not uh you know viable for the company it's got a nice hook on it for such a little yes. frog too that would catch i would love to fish that one yeah. but i'm afraid that i might lose it and oh. we got all kinds of stuff man look at this somebody uh, sent this to me not too long ago so from, wait, uh, is that a a bingo fish for your tie, tie man that's for your tie for so when i get dressed up oh that's so what I'm gonna by be the way so i can tell you this now that uh, we're not gonna be fighting on ebay for it i picked up a tom man man's tie oh i think i've seen something one dollar and 99 cents hey, <laughs> so this <laughs> would go tell me? <laughs> this would go perfect on that yeah man, that's it's crazy. got it's got the, it says tom man's logo on it and maybe it was like Four bucks shipping, so it's like six bucks. Man, I got the tie. Crazy, man. I if I ever go to like an IGFA Hall of Fame, I'm wearing that. That's why I got this when I asked my buddy, and he was like, "Oh, it's part of the collection." Well, that's it kind of bummed me out, but then he said, "Hey, whoever bought the collection wants to send you one." The one that started it all for me. And when I tell you, it's full. I mean. My dad gave me this box with a couple of lures in there, maybe about 40 or 50 lures, and then I just kept going at it. This is a Cordell Redfin, but it's not. These That's are the uh, walking stick. The walking sticks. Another bait that I've got, I haven't fished. I've I got actually the one fished the coral snake, actually. I actually fished this one, lost it for a while and uh went back out there to fish and it came back to the shore <laughs> so i'll put it back in the box so i mean we like to fish all this stuff if it was up to me i'd be fishing every single day all these boxes would just be sitting out there with me and i'd just test each one each one each one but there's some lures in here that are a little bit tougher like here's a cordell solid with the red dot on the back Ooh. i think i've seen mostly everybody has the yellow dot on the tail but not the red red dot um these two right here i found together and they're different paint schemes paint patterns are those japanese or do they look japanese? oh no, these 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 are the old spot tail like that or the original cordels the new the newer ones have the 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 spot on the on the front by the gill the old ones have the spot on the back and they have a different shape overall if you if you notice this like Look at the way that the newer ones look with the dot on the front. Yep. As opposed to the belly and the forehead here on these. Well, yeah, because these are a lot more front heavy. Yes. This one has more of a, a jelly bean shape to mm -hmm. it. And, and there's, here's another one that's a little bit tougher. The slash gill. Yep. That's kind of like the older ones that you were talking about with bacon like about. Fritzy, yeah. yeah. I'll bet. Yep. That's inspired by that. And then we have the same like this one, but in green. See? Same tail spot on the back. These are old colors, man. So you can always find the difference in these when you go to looking. The newer ones like this, and I know you talked to uh, Mark about yes. some of these. The chin, some of them have the lip, some of them have the chin. 
and some of these older ones don't have any of that red blush like that so a lot of people when they see them they they have a confusing time trying to decipher is this an older one is this a new one is this an older one is this a new one some like these that don't have any markings like that make it a little bit tougher to figure out which one is which Ah, look at that, the double Y on the uh, yeah. Fire Tiger, that's cool. And I think people call these, what, Y2, Y2 or something like that. It's a funny name for them, but still. A so where did you first stuff. get this box now? So my dad gave me, <laughs> my dad gave me this box with a lot of these lures in here, not those tougher ones. I had mainly these, which is why I, the ones with the blue eye blush stuff. And um, when I looked them up, at that time, man, I can't even remember how old I was. I got them, I looked them up and I was like, what in the world is this man? It says Cordell on here. I started Googling stuff and I found out that there was people that were chasing that Cordell Big O and, and actually people that like to collect them. And I just thought it was crazy, you know, I thought, what in the world am I going to do with so many lures? Well, I found a place for the older ones up there and I made a display of those. And that's what I started doing. I just added more, added more once I got to know that there was different variations in colors. I mean, it just went crazy. I had, I had like three or four of each color that you see here, and tons of boxes. I got another box full with the next size down. It's just crazy, man. I mean, so but this was the box, and then that was the bait that started the whole thing, yep, huh? That was the bait that started all this mess that you see here, man. <laughs> I mean, we all had one. <laughs> that color right there with that blue eye shadow. That's how this box came in with all these white ones and all these yellow ones and stuff like that. I got busy and started looking for more and then all of a sudden the years just passed by and I found myself with boxes and boxes full of big O's, crazy shads, you know, red fins. I got boxes of red fins. Man, there's boxes over here still <laughs> full. But Next thing you know, you're in a 22 foot Penske head niece with uh, 8,000 pounds of tackle. Been yeah. There. Been there. <laughs> and I think that's the problem for a lot of us, man. We have tons of lures that we'd like to collect, but um, not a lot of us like to give them back and put them out there, you know, for sale. There's some lures in here that you really are not going to find readily available in, on eBay and stuff like that. You won't find them not, like that. Not that crazy shad. You know, Look at that. Here's another crazy shad that somebody else saw and was like, what in the world? Where do you keep finding these colors, man? It almost looks like a Pico. That's so weird. Right? That's a Pico color like that. I know yeah, there's another Pico that like I have. A, that's why I said it looks like a Pico. Yeah, and, it, and, and this one, it's embossed different. It says Crazy Shad on the side like that. And most of them have it over here by the belly. So when I saw that one, I had to have that. I picked it up. But look at these. These are the little ones, the little Crazy Shads. Ooh. I don't know what that pattern, snake line or what it's called. But um, these are the colors that got us into all this mess. <laughs> what about the Crazy, uh, the CC Shad? Do you like those? Yes. Check yes. these. Oh, color selector, baby. Yeah, those I've are got, really cool, man. One. These are cool. I've I love got, this stuff. I've got a set of these guys in the color, the color selector. selector. Yes, sir. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. See, I, I haven't done any more adding to this mess because I've been concentrating on these guys over here. So it keeps us busy, but at the same time, it keeps our wallet not so empty. Check this out. So, these are all like the Cordell's. And, and I've got that one, the rainbow. Did you see this rainbow here? No, that's a different look because yeah. I've got this one. That's a blue rainbow. It's pretty cool, man. They got different Ooh. weird stuff on here. There's one. I like, the, I like the metallic in that middle one, too. That's cool. Yeah, I bet wow. that flash would get you some fish biting. There, this one came from the Cordell office, I believe. I got the paperwork up there somewhere. See, they had labels on them. And I think it had some sticky stuff on the back where they had them atta yeah, attached to the... Of some sort, huh? Yeah, they had them attached to this... Um, and that's a color that... That's uh, different. That's I know, different. man. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I found a, uh, a paperwork where they had it mounted, I guess, in the office or something. And it had all these lures attached to the picture of it with the color. And I took all of these off because the paper started to come off. And so I saved all the lures. And I got a couple of, uh, of them in here that were from that same style. There's some other lures in here that like this color look. That's a color of Cordell Spot that I have mm -mm. never seen. Mm -mm. And I see some cool deep big O's in some weird colors as well. Yeah, well look, like, this is a baby, like the Big Dipper, the boom, Little boom. Dipper. Oh yeah, those, yeah. Are some, <laughs> those are some unique colors there. This one here, this one here is a very tough color. Yes, sir. See that white and, too? And a tough shape, by the way. So that's one of the more it's a baby, rare shapes. Baby Deep O. 
And that's a very tough color. It's got yellow on the top, green hue over here, white belly. Ooh. I mean, it's got a lot going on, but it's the color that you won't just, you know, find at every taco box yeah. you go digging in. This translucent green is a pretty cool color too. <laughs> and I like my baits with the white belly like that. Yeah. I think this one got a little bit of, um, I want to say it, it was made that way because it's got a pearl essence to it. But I'm not sure, you know, there's so many things. What's that one, oh, oh man, that one, pull it, pull it out. You can pull that up. Feel free to go through this box as you please. I was right. gonna say that that one's <laughs> that's a pretty cool one. Man. Oh, so that's the uh, hold on, is that the top spot? That's what it is. <laughs> top spot, man. That's that's a pretty cool bait right there. The color. But I've never seen it with the lump on the head. Right. I I, I know I've seen a couple more because I have some Cause somewhere. Because I've seen a little top spot with just that, but the lump mm -hmm. on the head's different. Yeah, that one is um, I think it's a heavier overall. I don't know if it's meant to be um, fished deeper. Okay. How does it feel as far as the weight? That's a, that's a that's a half, heavier one. If not three three quarters. Yeah. That's a so, big that's a big old bait. Single hook. That's a. Yeah. I see. I, I bet you can set that up somehow for a almost trend almost feels something. heavy as like a blue striper, which is another one of my favorite yes, uh, cordo yes, baits. Yes. 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 But that's cool. But that's a sinker. I guarantee you. Um, once you put it in the water, I'm pretty sure. Uh, does it just sit like that? No, the the ratio, the ratio of sinking, it's gonna be. Man, I can't remember the specifics on these lures. I was trying to accommodate finding all the ones that I could on this specific model because there's a brochure that I've been working on, on building a live display of the exact same thing. When you see that yellow uh, orange cordel box that you were talking about earlier, on that magazine, it has that cordel box and it has this top spot. Ooh. And so that's what I'm trying to do is put all the lures together that go together for these displays. There it is. Here's the other gator, the rainbow color that I was showing you. Let's see. This is a rainbow. Cordell's version I of a rainbow. I got one of those. It almost, honestly, it almost looks like a Christmas tree color. Right. It looks it, pretty cool. It, 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 that looks like something out of like 1954, doesn't it? Right. Like the colors that uh, probably the early Impalas came in right there. That seafoam green. So yeah. that's called rainbow that's a cool no, one yeah when i saw this I, I kept looking for spotted ape version or something and i found it on a catalog there and behind you there's a catalog that shows colors for cordell and it has this labeled as a rainbow color for cordell Ooh. so imagine that this is a whole different rainbow take on on the lure most of them let me see <laughs> oh man that's you a, know what that is one. yeah that's a what's this called the salty shiner Shif shifty shiner is shifty or salty one of the two oh, okay, but it's okay. a shiner it almost looks like that sort of looks like a bingo lure a little bit that's cool who else makes one like that there's um uh well there's another company that makes a one. little bit like a bomber lns ball. lures lns mirror lures they yeah have one that's, uh, yeah you're right similar. it's sort of lns mirror lure bomber mullet it's got that sort of profile that's cool the bomber mullet yeah that's another one that's a more modern one though. and then so you pick this up and put it down so i I've been on a kick of anything that looks like a Bayou Boogie. <laughs> and so Cordell, what's this one called? Because I know everyone had a knockoff, but I didn't know. Uh, this it... one is, let me see, I think it's labeled on the inside here. That is see, super cool. It's, it's pretty interesting the way that... Um... Okay, so that's the Swimming Chad. Yeah. Which, so there was the Swimming Chad, Tackle Industries had the Swim Minnow. Yeah, that's exactly had, the one that yeah, I was going to tell you about. You had the Bayou Boogie, the Pico Perch, the... Well, there was another company that made another one like that. Um, I just got all these suckers put in there in the box. I got a couple of them set up over there. The swimming like that. minnow. That's so that this one honestly is the most bayou boogie <laughs> feeling one because yeah. some of them are thinner. Like the pico perch is a lot lighter of a bait. Mm -hmm. The swimming minnow is a lot thinner of a bait. That one feels like a saltwater bayou boogie actually, and it sounds kind of like one. And there's another company in Texas that made another lure like that that was called the Talking Perch and the Silent Perch. Logan Stewart helped me identify a couple of those and they're supposed to be a lot rarer than these are. So, But you don't see a swimming shad from Cordell a lot. Never. Especially it's, not it's, in a box like that. It's super rare for, mm -hmm. for the Cordells that, I, yeah. that I've seen. I haven't seen one in person. Out of all the stuff that I... And look, we ended up with two of them. Yeah, I got two of them. That's all right. <laughs> That's cool. You might be able to take one home with you, man. <laughs> That's a good looking bait. That's a we good got tons bait. of those uh, weird stuff in here. Here goes. Here is the one that you were talking about. So there is another uh, top spot. So yep. That's a smaller one. See, but and it is doesn't that a have pinfish. Well, oh, 
Oh, man, I can't remember the name for that one. So now that's the more traditional size that I've seen. Yeah, but this pattern right here, for some reason, I've seen some of these go on eBay for some crazy uh, funds, right? Like, really? this pattern right here with the yellow and the stripes like that, I would not pay that much for it. I mean, I've, I've found quite a bit of these other lures in this specific color, but for some reason when I check eBay, I see that people are paying some good money for this specific pattern. Maybe they need it for their collection or something mm. like that. But I've got um, I've got some spots in that, and I've actually got some red fins in that color. Red fins, I got some red fins like that. I don't know where all my red fins are right now, man. We've had so much stuff going through here. What about this one? Have you seen these? And I love having okay, these boxes. Okay, so Michael Bacon has one of these, and so this is. Why would they even make this? It's like a spot, but it's not. And it's got that, obviously, the lead eye, which yeah. you can see is kind of swelled with time. Mm -hmm. Thin. That's almost more like a uh, Sonic or something, right? And and it really, to me, it reminds me of those Storm Thin Fins without a lip because of the profile. Yeah. Because it tapers both this way and this way. Ooh, I mean, you could do that. I guess that fish is a lot more, probably almost like a... Some sort of jigging Yeah, I was going to say a jig. Kind of so like a jig. what's the name of that? Loose Eye Shad. And that's your model number right there, 7504. Wow, super cool. So that's why I keep a lot of these suckers with their boxes and, you know, just keep them put together like that so that that way when... This is the one that you were asking about over there. Look, let me, sh let me show you the paperwork. This one here is the Deep Big O. Yep. There's another one that's labeled Baby Deep Big O. That's your rainbow right there. Yeah, and I love that profile of that head. That's cool. What about the uh, hunchos? Do you know those? So the huncho, was that sort of your answer to the humpback? The huncho, um, I'm assuming they were trying to keep up with something like that of that profile. See, this one says on there, that's a baby big O. That's F. Yeah, I've seen that in the catalog. Never seen that in person. Yeah, and in the rainbow color, man, that's a tough one right there. Nice. <laughs> See, these right here. I used to have them all put together, all the models of rainbow colors for Cordell. When we started, after we got a bunch of these uh, big O's, we started putting together um, a lot of the um, specific colors. So we went with the rainbow and we created a, a whole plywood, four by eight, full of rainbow colors of Bagley's, Cordell's, Heaven's, everybody was on that board. When I started, um, kind of compiling everything together. I sold a lot of that stuff off. And I remember the Bagley guys were going crazy over some of the Bagleys that I had on there. And they were um, they were sold immediately, man. I didn't even hesitate on those. I just, you know, offloaded all those. But all of these other Cordells, because I had this Cordell influence from my dad, I kept them and I put them in boxes. And there's other ones in there that I have that haven't been moved. Here goes another tough one that you probably don't see often. It's a very cool hot magenta pink mm. color and it's got the same y2y2 color yes. or pattern and um there's some of these that i've found them and people are like that's not a cordell that can't be a cordell <laughs> that's a cordell man <laughs> you can tell me whatever you want all day long but um usually some people will look for a, a, a logo or something and you can barely see it there on the belly mm -hmm. but that's a cordell so a lot of times people will see colors and say I've never seen it. It can't be a Cordell. But if you stop and analyze the lure, you'll find out exactly which brand made it and all that good stuff. And it takes time to get to know all that stuff better. What about this one? Okay, so you got uh, you something retro on this one. <laughs> I should have sent that one in to you, you man. should have sent that one in. <laughs> I've seen it. I, the crazy tail. That's what it is. So... Another one that almost seems sort of like a like a head and Sonic, or something like that, right? That's that head and uh, pop eye. Also yeah, comes to mind yeah, with that one. And who else makes another one like that? There. Cotton uh, had a. I love the oddball cotton stuff. That's my favorite yeah. cotton stuff. Are the weird ones, you know? The stuff that doesn't come up regularly, man. There's, there's tons of lures that Cotton Cordell made, in so many different colors, that when you go to looking you'll find variations of all sorts, man. They, they have some with the ribs that are like this backwards. And uh, Mark, Mark Ng, he'll tell you about that stuff. He knows all that, all those lures. Here goes one of the Mega Bass influence. Yeah. Big O's. 
Those are pretty cool, man. I love that. That's got a different pitch, too. That yeah. sounds, like it sounds like a different thing. <laughs> Woo! But those are good to fish, man. I've that fished a couple like of them. I, have, I think I have a black one somewhere on the boat over there. I love that. That's cool. Here, so a lot of times on these boxes, yes, you'll get um, the exact same lure, but in a different profile. And that's why I do this, because when I go fishing, I'll take some of whatever color I'm looking for. And then look, it's almost like identical to this side. Now so these like, Umco is <laughs> a great bank fishing box. You just walk around the bank with two of them. Take them you, with you. You don't even need a workout, like you join a gym or anything. You just start walking out these <laughs> things. Yeah. Oh, Check so hold on out. a second. Another box of old school gold. You're Holy. Gonna, you're going to find something here that's pretty cool that you probably haven't seen or whatever. All right. So let's see here. Well, I'll bet you anything you'll find a couple. So of let things. me see if there's anything that's yeah, kind of, well, this dude it says that another one of those mm -hmm. uh, crazy tails. That's sweet. So these, uh, I forget the name of this, but I've seen that. It's like, what is that called? The Super Shad. Uh, mm -hmm. That's cool. I love the spinner on that. Super Shad with the same. Oh, the Super Shad through line. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Hold There's on. There's one. So, hunchos and some yeah. sweet <laughs> colors, man. That's a good looking huncho. That's and what I like to collecting the huncho. Dude, the little, the little huncho in that flow all pink with the uh, sparkles and then hold on these aren't cordels are they yes sir that's the ones that I was gonna no. show you <laughs> those are pinfish that's a model Holy that sweet. I have never ever seen anybody else I think there's two other guys that I know that have some but I've never ever seen anybody say hey, and it I says cordel yes sir and they're made out of some type of balsa mix they feel like I'm barely squeezing them but you can just tell that that's not just standard yeah it's not. It's some type of foam material. So one has a lip, one does not. Mm -hmm. I found both of those, man, and it's it is just you know when you go picking and, and find cool stuff that you've never seen. And it actually says Cordell on it. That's the coolest that's thing. It. So, so I wonder if that's almost almost like when they had the balsa lights come out. If they came out with stuff like this, probably. But I believe that it was a very 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 short run because I have not <laughs> been able to find any more like that. I've never seen that. That's what I like to hear. I've never, I've never <laughs> seen that. Black short little baby huncho. I do like this top water. So this one is tough for me to find anyway. Those so are going to be tough to find, period. I don't know if they just made it for a short time. And what's the name of this one? Um, I believe that's a um, pad... Uh, no, that's a paddle hopper Shakespeare. That is going to be... I see it on there. I'm thinking <laughs> stumped these tackle box. <laughs> Man, I can't remember it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Has something to do with mouth or something. Yes, it does. Loud mouth. Loud mouth. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to you. You know why I was thinking because I was like loud mouth is man's lures, so it, I didn't well, think all it was right. I gotta be honest with you, that that has that gaudiness of a man's lure. Like that could be a man's lure, the way this thing looks too, doesn't it? And then with the name on there, yeah, I just call it a man's lure. <laughs> but so, that that kind of stuff like that. Here goes two more loops. So there's a, I see a near nothing in a unique color, or else just a really worn one. Yeah, it's probably just beat up. It's got a scale to it, though. Yeah, that's cool. Which is different. I see. That right there is pretty cool to me. Yes. I love black lures like that. So that's the Cordell. So this one is the popper. What's this called? Chopsticks. The chopstick, but look at that eye. That's yep. a, like a weird diamond eye. That's. It, you know what it looks like? The Strike King stuff? Yes, Diamond Chad. But look at that. That's crazy town. And it says it right there on the side. It'll say Cordell Chopsticks. That's, I mean, that's a Cordell for sure. Look, I got some ponchos here that are a little bit tougher colors. Ooh, a little coach dog action. Yeah. Then we have these here. These right here, I haven't seen a lot of that color. Those right so there. There's the old swimming shad in a almost looks like an early G finish. Right, like it's but got, it's got a little. It's not, but it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a golden sheen to it. I like the way those look. The color, the profile. Yeah. I had a lure in here that's the same like that, but see, this is a pretty cool huncho. The pink tones. Ooh. So do you do you like to fish a huncho? I actually have some over there in the boat. I I, I mean I don't see any difference between these and the deep uh, humpies, the ones that the rebel made. I think they kind of shared the same thing. I mean, it's kind of like those, you know, the companies that were... All right, here's the salmon. I love yep. the salmon stuff. Uh, I don't know how many people were throwing a, a half ounce spot for salmon, but hey. That one and this one are both kind of like that pinkish color. Okay, See so this let's, packaging? So let's talk about Pro Lures or Dollar Pack. 
that Cordell had. So it's sort of the discount line, right? Yeah, from what I've gathered, it's kind of like the Shakespeare economy line that they had where they made the underwater minnow and then the underwater minnow that was a little bit cheaper and not packaged as beautiful as the other stuff. Um, I actually like the way that looks. I mean, very simple. Um, I do like the graphics on these other ones, but those were all kind of like the, uh, probably you probably find them at the cheaper stores, you know. Uh, and it says made in El Salvador. So I don't know if all their stuff was made in El Salvador. Or no, just I think line. it was, that line was uh, sent that way. This one's the same. This one says, uh, under supervision of Cordell, but it's made in El Salvador. There's a lot of um, big O's on eBay, like eight of them. Of that kind, like yep. that packaging? And it doesn't even say big O, but it's what it is. See, this one's, I, I like these right here, man. Yeah, those are really cool. the balsa yeah. light. Yep, I like those uh, for, um, for the colors, Ooh. but the actual body style, I like that body style. Nice. This is a tough little big O. That's like the colors that you were seeing there on those, uh, what is it, the swimming shad or whatever? Yeah, I love swimming that. Shad it's like very gold. Yeah, I like those. Right That'd be there. a good uh, good color out this way. And sort another, of the way your lake's looking now. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of those right there here, you can drop that. Like a, a lot of those right there are used mainly at the lakes around here, man. A lot of the, you know, places that I know the water's not hella deep. Um, you already saw these other ones yeah. over here. So, but th these right here, everybody always confuses these for um, Bagley's because they're so small. Oh, here goes the chopsticks in the box. Yeah. So that way, you know, you know that that's, and that's the, the bigger one. Yeah, that's the larger size. Um, this one here, look. Like, oh. These are the ones that I really enjoy collecting. Ooh. We have tons of really cool, tough little colors in there. There's a bunch of these loose eye shads here in different colors, red head. And there's scout. The scout, that <laughs> frog one looks awesome. I love the frog colors. I've got a scout in the, in the dollar pack. Oh yeah? Yep. Those are pretty cool, man. And and I have a couple more somewhere else. These are the balsa light types yep. that, were, um, that we were talking about earlier. Luke. Nice. So to me, this fire tiger color like that, it's one of the best colors to fish, you know, especially when the water is a little bit darker. Um, a lot of people like to fish in bright, bright days, but I like this specific orange like that for the darker water. Uh, most of my baits that I fish are white ones like mm. that. This one right here, it's a Cordell lure, but it's not a chopsticks. It's like a little popper of some sort. Yeah, and I've Ooh. had it here for a long time. I just don't know what it is. Ooh. Oh, sir. You got it, you got it. No, it's like a mini chopstick without the, but it feels different. Super tiny? Yeah, buddy. And here's one color that is definitely a tough color. Oh, yep. So you can go through these boxes and keep finding colors like that one that you showed me over there a while ago. I like this color for these, man. I mean, it has a little bit of everything in it. It does. And it has the pearlescent <laughs> white belly like that, so I'm I'm all for those different finish. See, this is your traditional yep. old school colors, and I match. I have one of each. One of these colors goes to one of the big ones over there. These are tough colors that I have in here. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a really nice one, man. <laughs> so that's a it's like blue on blue. Yeah. That's super cool. Almost looks custom. You know, you could, and, and it's not. It's one of their colors. I have another one somewhere. Um, Man, I've never seen that. That is super cool. And there is another metallic red. And that. That's the ones with the little scaly finish on it. Yeah. They look pretty cool, man. You just can't, Oof. you just can't find them like that all the time anymore. So whenever I find these that's colors, I keep putting them together. Look, here goes <laughs> another. The blue, like the big one that I showed you over there. Yes. That's his. That's his little baby right there. Oh, I love that. I don't know why. I, <laughs> I like that, like sort of light blue belly. It's like a gray blue almost. I think you know fishing these in yes. the clear waters, so you probably do some damage over there. That's super cool. And here's the little tiny one of the blue one that we were looking at earlier. Yeah. The gold with the blue. From what I understand, this one was supposed to be a tougher color. Um, there's a couple of guys that collect lure uh, cordels in my groups and um, and they've helped me, you know, kind of just 
put uh, specific rarities and stuff. Look at this slash guild in a tiny one. And it's got a uh, weird looking green with darker green splatter on Ooh. it. And um, these, are, these are all colors that, that's the way I found them. I found boxes with some lures like this and I would just itemize the ones that I wanted and put them together and that's how we put all these collections together like this. The day that my wife has an estate sale, y'all better not miss it. <laughs> <laughs> when the estate sale comes, y'all better not miss it, man. <laughs> There's going to be tons of lures there. All right, Daniel, thanks for having us into your man cave. I feel like I probably should have spent a couple days here. <laughs> Even if you spend a whole week here, man, I don't think we'd ever get done. Did you see the boxes that we haven't opened yet? No, it's... This is wild. I really should have planned my trip better, but it's okay. I will be back here uh, before too long. Always welcome. <laughs> In the meantime, I will definitely drop all the information for Dee's Tackle Box. First off, follow on Instagram. You're always posting some really cool yeah. stuff. And his YouTube channel is totally worth a subscription. I love that you're kind of educating people, you're accessible, and really telling people who are into collecting and maybe just get into collecting the differences between different kinds of lures. So I love what you do on it and uh, keep it up, man. I appreciate that, man. That's what we do. That's what we live for. Everything else is just fishing, man. Other than that. And next time, the water level is crazy low, so we weren't able to get on the lake. But next time I'm here, we will definitely be fishing at old school as well. But until then, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little trip to Dee's Tackle Box. Until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.